solute solvent and solution before starting the lecture click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of conceptual lectures for free firstly let me teach you that what is a solution well consider three glasses of water in the first glass i add some salt and to the water in the second glass i add some sugar and to the water and in the third glass i add some sand or pebbles and to the water after some times i observe that salt is completely dissolved in the water so we say that salt is soluble in water and form a homogeneous mixture a uniform composition by homogeneous mixture and uniform composition i mean that we cannot spot or see the particles of salt and water in the glass with naked eye secondly i observe that sugar is also completely dissolved in the water so sugar is soluble in the water and form a homogeneous mixture a uniform composition by homogeneous mixture and uniform composition again i mean that we cannot spot or see the particles of sugar and salt with naked eye thirdly i observe that sand or pebbles do not dissolve in the water so pebbles are insoluble in water and form a heterogeneous mixture or non uniform composition by heterogeneous mixture i mean that we can spot or see the particles of pebbles and water with naked eye now listen carefully salt and water are soluble in each other to form a homogeneous mixture so it is a solution secondly sugar and water are also soluble in each other to form a homogeneous mixture so it is also a solution thirdly pebbles are insoluble in water and they form a heterogeneous mixture so it is not a solution therefore we define a solution as a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances is called a solution let me repeat it a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances is called a solution now let me give you some common examples of a solution well the first example of a solution is cold drinks in cold drinks carbon dioxide gas sugar and flavors are dissolved in water to form a homogeneous mixture or a solution secondly fog or clouds water vapors dissolve in the air to form a homogeneous mixture or solution thirdly smoke in the air carbon particles dissolve in air to form a homogeneous mixture or a solution fourthly alcohol plus water alcohol is dissolved in water to form a homogeneous mixture are a solution so these are the common examples of a solution now what are solutes and solvents well let consider a salt solution and a sugar solution we know that in a salt solution there are two components salt and water while in sugar solution there are also two components sugar and water secondly we also know that in salt solution salt is dissolved in the water while in sugar solution sugar is dissolved in the water thirdly in salt solution salt is present in smaller quantity and water is present in larger quantity while in sugar solution sugar is present in smaller quantity and water is again present in larger quantity therefore we define solute as the component of a solution which is present in smaller amount is called solute let me repeat it the component of a solution which is present in smaller amount is called solute 
while we define solvent as the component of a solution which is present in larger amount is called solvent. Let me repeat it. The component of a solution which is present in larger amount is called solvent. So in salt solution, salt is a solute because it is present in smaller amount. And water is a solvent because it is present in larger amount. In sugar solution, sugar is a solute because it is present in smaller amount while water is again solvent because it is present in larger amount. Now let me give you some common examples of solute and solvent. Well, consider a solution of vinegar. In vinegar, acetic acid is dissolved in water. So acetic acid is a solute and water is a solvent. Secondly, a solution of sugar and milk. In this solution, sugar is dissolved in the milk. So sugar is a solute and milk is a solvent. Thirdly, a solution of smoke. In the smoke, carbon particles are dissolved in the air. So carbon particles are solute and air is a solvent. Fourthly, alcohol plus water. In this solution, alcohol is dissolved in the water. So alcohol is a solute and water is a solvent. Finally, let me give you a bonus tip. Why water is called as a universal solvent? Well, it is because water has the potential to dissolve many substances. But remember that only polar substances or polar solutes are soluble in water. Non-polar substances or non-polar solutes are not soluble in water. So, water is therefore called as universal solvent. This was all about solute, solvent and solution. If you have learned something new in this video, then like this video and subscribe our channel for more conceptual lectures. Thank you very much for watching this video.